A Testament Against the World, The Lord's Rebuke Spiritual Famine June 6, 2011 From the Lord our God and Savior, a letter given to Timothy, for all those who have ears to hear. Thus says the Lord, I have sent famine upon the land. Even as in the day I caused a famine throughout the land of Israel. No, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. As it was then, so it is this day also. From the churches of men and from the devout I have removed my hand, and from my people I have taken back my spirit. Lo, one full day has passed since I left them desolate, in severe thirst, with nothing at all to nourish them. I have left them in darkness, with no light to guide them. The still small voice, silent. And what is this I hear among the churches of men, and those devout in Israel? even among those who have recognized Mashiach in Israel. What voice do I hear lifted up to heaven, crying out for guidance, longing for my presence and the word of the Lord? What sound from the people has entered into the ears of the Holy One? I hear nothing. Not a word is spoken. No outcry is made. No repentance is offered. No plea is lifted up. No one thirsts. Not one hungers. Not one of them seeks the light or grasps my robe that I might guide them through this darkness, through this desolate land. None listen for my voice. Behold, I have spoken a multitude of words, a great number of speeches. Letter after letter, volume after volume. Yet they will not eat of this bread, for they are already full. Nor will they drink from this cup, for they are drunken. Nor can they lift their heads to look upon this glory. For the weight of their sin remains upon them. They refuse to see. Their eyes are blinded. They will not listen. Their ears are unclean. They cover their faces and stop their ears. Foolish people. Most wicked generation. I do not know you. Fill up then the full measure of your error according to the perverse doctrines of your fathers. Bear the sin of your heresies. Drink from the cup of your blasphemies to the fullest. Yes, I hear your songs and your spiritual hymns offered up to God. He looks nothing like me. I see your uplifted hands, and I hear all these prayers offered up in the name of Christ. He looks nothing like me. Perverse generation! The day of the Lord is here. Yes, I have declared it. In these very letters, and by my servants, I have made it known. Lo, through this man I have spoken it, for he does seek to honor me. I have brought glory to my name. Yet you have hated both me and my word. You have rejected the voice of the living God. You have loathed the messengers of the Most High. Therefore shall I also reject you, for your ways are loathsome in my sight. 
I have left you in famine. And now I shall leave you utterly desolate. For I have called to my lambs. Their hearts sing in anticipation. I have called to my sheep. They have embraced my voice. Yea, I have entered in and gathered them together. Behold, the harvest is separated. All is ready. The door is shut. I have but to call out, and the first election shall pass from your sight, and the gate shall be shut. For the door is shut already. The time has passed. No more shall pass through. I tell you the truth. You have done this. You have decided. Your decision is made. Yes, you have shut the door to me. Therefore is it also shut to you. And it shall not be opened again until you breathe your last, testifying to the name of glory and him crucified. Until the time I open it anew. Behold, I shall open the gates of the city, and the dead shall pass through. The martyrs of the Lord lifted up to glory. <laughs>